let me show you how to create this border animation. In the HTML, we're going to create an input which has a wrapper. Next in the CSS, we're going to style the wrapper and style the input inside it. As you can see, we're using position absolute and inset zero, so it stays nicely across the wrapper. Next, we're going to create a conic gradient on a before pseudo element. This goes from transparent 270 degrees to white and back to transparent, and it will give this shape, which is basically a square, but we only see a part of it. We also position it in the center, and later we're going to rotate it to give that illusion of a moving border. But before that, we need to clip a part of it. And for that, we're going to set an offset of three pixels, and we're going to create another element on the after pseudo element on this wrapper, which basically calculates based on the offset, the width and the height of the element, and only allows part of it to be seen. If we go back to the wrapper and set overflow to hidden, you can see now that just part of our before pseudo element, which is the cone gradient, is seen. We can play around with the offset if you want to showcase more of the border or less. And the last part is to add an animation on the conic gradient, which is going for two seconds and is going to rotate it. Let's create the keyframes, which basically goes from rotation zero turn to one turn. So it will rotate 360 degrees. We also added scale so it won't be cut off around the corners. And that's it. This is how you add a border animation on an input. In another example, I created this border animation where it goes nicely around the corners. This is a bit trickier to do, but let me know in the comment section below if you want to see this, and I'll make a tutorial for you. In the meantime, check out iCodis.com, which is a platform we've been working on where you can improve your coding skills by building daily projects like this one. Every day for 20 to 40 minutes, you have a new coding challenge, which you can use to improve your coding skills. And it also has a social aspect, so you can join our Discord group and be part of the community. I'll see you there.